I'm doing what I'm doing. I ain't want to hear that. <laughs> I want to hear When that truth get in you <laughs> and it start to turn you up, <laughs> you'll turn and shall be turned unto fable, lies. That's what's happening in society today. People don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear their truth. They turn into fables. Like I said earlier about that young guy, his truth is turning him into a fable. That's a lie. And when you as a parent go along with that and you accept that, you accepting that. Because if you probably would stand firm and let him know, eventually he probably will get it. But because you Going with that, that don't mean you don't still not love him. That don't mean you stop loving your child because they feel that way. You just, every time they look, hey, I love you, son. Hey, I love you. You, you make sure you, I ain't calling you no girl. You come to my house, you, you what I, you, you dominate. You know, Demetrius. <laughs> you dominate. That's what I'm going to call you because that's what God made you. Samantha. <laughs> you a girl? That's what I'm going to call you by your girl name. Calling you Dom. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Your name's Samantha. You ain't Dom. <laughs> That's what you are. So it's our fault as people. It ain't the society's fault. It's our fault. It's the church's fault. Because the church is falling by the wayside and allowing a lot of stuff to go on and not scared of persecution. You're going to get persecuted whether you stand up or not. As soon as you say, I love Christ, oh, oh you one of them Jesus freaks. That's the first thing they'll say. And then some of us will shut down. I ain't want to argue with him today. But their truth, but they'll turn away their ears from the truth. Look at it, people. It's here. People, society, this world is turned away from the truth. People don't have a care about God, don't have knowledge of God, killing every single day. Killings over here, gang violence, all this stuff is happening all around us. Every single day. Somebody's getting killed in Dillon, Mullen, Marin. Just had a shooting at a hospital. A hospital where you're supposed to go get help when you're injured. Mm. They just had a, a shooting upstate Maryland. I think it was Maryland or Massachusetts where the guy went. It was a funeral. And he went and shot the man in the casket. And they gave him 15 years. He went and shot. I said, whatever that man did to him, that joker hated him. But you see where the mind is, the society mind. He shot the man. The man is already dead. Bum rushed the funeral and shot the man in the casket. 15 times. <laughs> Ain't nothing else you can do. He's, he's done. He's gone. But that's the mind of people. That's the mind of society. Why? They don't know God. They don't have knowledge of God. Because if you got knowledge of God, you already know that the spirit is gone from that body. That man is not getting up from that casket. If you got knowledge of God in his word. But if you don't have knowledge of God and his word, you will do anything. Shoot him 15 times, boy. Beats me. <laughs> don't know what's wrong with people. <laughs> but you see where we're going. There's a famine in the land. And it's not famine of bread, but it's for hearing the word of God. People don't hear the word of God. People need to hear the word of God. Genesis, Revelation, the whole counsel of God. They need to hear the word of God. That's the only way people 
are going to learn. That's the only way people are going to turn if they hear the word of God. You ain't going to turn without the word of God. It ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. Let us pray. Father, we come to you again, Lord. We just thank you for who you are. Lord, we thank you for your word. Thank you for your message, Father. Lord, we just ask, Father, that you to lead, guide, and to direct each and every one of us, Lord, to be bold as lions, to stick to your word, Father, in this day and time we're living in, Lord, because we know that things are going to happen to us, Father, but we know that you're going to be by us. You will not leave us nor forsake us. So, Father, we just ask for boldness of your spirit, Lord, to stand on your word, not to cower down to society and its ways. Father, we just ask you to bless each and every one of us here tonight, Lord. We just ask, Father, that everyone's hearts are clear, Lord. That, Lord, that they come to your saving knowledge of your Son, of Jesus Christ, Father. We just ask you to be with each and every one of us. Lead us, guide us, and direct us, Father, and protect us from any hurt, harm, or danger that may come our way. Strengthen us, Father, as this we go on this week until we meet again on Sunday, Father. Just give us your spirit, Father, to carry on. Thank you, Father, once again for all that you have done and all that you're going to do, Lord. We ask you to bless each and every one of us, Father. Give us strength on our way. In Jesus, Yeshua, the Christ's name we pray. Amen. Don't forget about Sunday school, 930, and worship at 1030. Make sure you speak to everyone before you leave tonight. And make sure you invite somebody to be worship with us next week. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>